Hello guys and welcome back in Tokyo Ghoul Dark War. Today's video is made for a special occasion, which is a gameplay video contest that Game Samba is organizing right now. They've sent me an email and asked if I want to participate, so I've decided to give it a try and to make a video for this contest. It is an open competition, so every everyone can participate and make their own videos uh, to get a to get a chance to win a prize from from this contest. So let's get started from my character collection. I have I have many characters in this game right now. Oh, okay. Uh, I have many. I have many characters in this game right now. Uh, only one that I'm missing is Arima Yoshimura Shinohara, Ayato, Ma uh, Ayato Mask, Kaneki Mask, uh, Tsukiyama and Kuroiwa. Uh, right now I think the next character that I'm gonna get is the Kaneki Mask. I'm still waiting for him, but I think he can become one of my favorite characters in this game. But right now my favorite character is Half Kakuja Kaneki. After the last update he received the buff and uh, right now I can use him in my main team, not worrying uh, to be on a, some kind of disadvantage by using him. Because right now he's pretty good DPS character and if you like this character I really recommend getting him on the next uh, festival or time limited draw, I don't know how they're gonna release him again. But yeah, he's a really cool character, his skills are pretty cool also. And the next character that I really like, and this character was very helpful at the beginning of my journey with Tokyo Ghoul Dark War, is Kanaki Rinkaku. You're getting, you're getting him for free at the beginning of the game, uh, at the 4 star. After, I think, 7 days, uh, as a daily, you get the shards of him. And this is the best DPS, that you, uh, DPS character that you get at the beginning of the game. And also, he's pretty good character in general. Uh, right now, I'm working to get him to the 5 star. And Remember, I will do some kind of showcase. First because I think I'm gonna use him in one of so my... Get what's I think to you. my second... my second team. I'm gonna have when some fun using him in PvP, I think. And right now I'm working to get all the characters to purple, to have all links maxed out, and my next goal will be getting some tank character to be on my team, because right now I really need the tank character to progress in the story because my characters are dying really fast and I need some kind of tank character that can rescue me from this uh, hard situa situation. I think it will be Arima, but right now I don't really know. Maybe if I, I will be lucky I will get one of the SSR from the Luxury Draw because they've added them in the recent update to this diamond draw. So, uh, next thing, my favorite features of the game. So, I think from the modes, my favorite one is Kokeli Crusade. It's a really simple concept, you just go and fight the enemies, complete the levels and go to the higher levels all the way up to the 100, I think. Uh, yes, to the level 100. And I have... Uh, I think it's really fun mode. I really like him. And also this is the best mode to get the shards of the equipment. And you also get some rewards for getting the stars. And you can buy them here. So yeah, it's pretty fun mode, and also you can refresh once per day, which is really helpful in getting the equipment parts for your characters. Uh, next thing, I think the real-time battle is really fun for me, because it's like 
a multiplayer deathmatch, which is pretty fun to play. I have some lags uh, in this mode, but it's not something that is ringing my experience. Also, if you you are one of the best players, you can get pretty much easy SSR, which is the Ayata Mask, which I currently don't have. And the last thing is Training Center. I think this mode is pretty interesting, and I think it should be made... They should make the multiplayer version of this mode, like something uh, similar to League of Legends or Dota, like the MOBA style of the game mode. And I think it would be a pretty good idea for the players to compete in this type of game mode. But right now we have what we, <laughs> what we have, uh, which is this mode playing against other players, but they are not controlling the characters. But it's still pretty fun. I like the map. It looks quite good. It is like basically the MOBA, but playing against bots, or maybe the player characters controlled by the by the AI. And right now, the only thing that we need to win is have a lot of DPS characters and destroy the towers as fast as you can, which I'm currently doing, and I should be okay. Yes. And you get the chest and also the keys for them. So, daily you can complete, uh, you can play one match and get the rewards, just like that. It is also pretty, pretty fun, but I think it can be a lot better if they focus on making it like the multiplayer type of game mode, which I think they should do, but maybe in the future we will see something like this. So I think the last thing that I, I think is the really good feature in this game is the Mysterious Shop. You can get a lot of very useful items, you can refresh using a very small amount of diamonds, but I think they need to put more items uh, for... like, more items that you can buy using money, because uh, after the recent updates I get more items uh, that I can buy using diamonds, and I don't want to spend my diamonds on those items, I, I'd rather save them for, like, a time limited draw or other characters, because like this game is focused on collecting, uh, collecting characters and being as strong as possible on the server. So yeah, this is how it is on my account, my favorite characters, my big collection of characters and my favorite features in the game. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you do, uh, vote on me on this gameplay video contest and see you guys later in my next Tokyo Go videos.